It went from crazy to like, you know, you can't even find your own elbow space. Welcome to the Central Historic. Hola, mi amigos. Today we are going to explore the downtown historic district, but first, breakfast. Uh, well, there was a malfunction in the subway. I didn't know, I was not aware, so the line is closed and we have to ride the bus instead. All right, back on the subway. What I can see is only a few stations are closed. Maybe something like five or six stations. A tranche of the line is closed. We'll make it to breakfast. We'll make it. It, it, it will be worth it because it's taking us uh, it, a, an effort. At the Insurgente stop. Yes. We got about a five minute walk. Yep. I got you, amigo. <laughs> Can't really get across the street. This is typical? Yes. But oh, this is light. Light traffic, yes, yes, yeah. yes. It's got, probably going to get a little worse. So the people, it's not working in the office right now, but they are commuting, going for brunch, uh, going to visit family. All right, so we're walking away from the restaurant because the restaurant is so busy that they have opened up a little side table tent down here. We to, made it, finally. To Nido Cafe. Nido. Nido. This is a uh, medium, upscale. The affordable, maybe you, you, you can have a breakfast here one, every once in a while. Okay. Not, okay. A day, no, not every day for sure. The atmosphere here is just beautiful. Might be the best coffee that I've had so far in Mexico. That's it. Yeah, made. Authentic Mexican, like traditional Mexican cuisine, was trying to show you that not everything is about tacos or tostadas. We also have these places that are trendy and it, it picks things from different cultures and try to give it maybe a Mexican touch. But it does have the texture of a pancake. I mean, cake is in the name, but this is like really cake. Like pancakes, you get away with like uh, the little thin like slices of pancake. This is like cake for breakfast. Yeah. Oh man, what a delicious way to start our day. Oh my gosh. Next, we head to one of the largest markets in Mexico City. One. That's the market, uh, see? Stolen. We've made it in. said. It was very traffic, very busy. Uber had to drop us. We had to walk in commerce, in food commerce, I guess I would say. This is not something like you frequent, as just uh, every day. Or no, 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 no for sure, no. So, a little exploring for Jonathan too, but he's gonna show me around. We'll try a few bites. He's like a market, a Costco market. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, it's our Costco. Okay, it's your Costco. It's, it's funny because when we are in Baltimore and they told me, do you wanna leave the American experience? Yes, let's go to Costco. If you think about the same, you want to leave the Mexican experience, let's go to La Merced. Yes, yes. It's our Costco. Yeah. The assault on your senses in here is just nuts. Now we're going to the spices section. Just got out of the meats. This is wild. You don't want to make a wrong turn. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I'm and I'm thinking about the video. So yeah, we're, we're working through it as a team. As a team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, but it just came out of the food and then all of a sudden the energy is like... Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, different, but, but again, the, so every beautiful. market yeah. Yeah, ha has like different sections. It astonish you that this much commerce can be supported? Like that all these people can have like this pepper stand and the sprinkle stand and the candy stand and then the meat stand. It, it's astonishing that there's this much, that they can stay in business. Mm -hmm. This many people buy the stuff. Astonishing, yeah. It's a Saturday, so it's a little like less bustling, but I can imagine it's just like people are coming through here, they need their things, they just gather their stuff and they're on their way, and then this kind of spreads out to the rest of the CDMX. Yeah. Well, of course, of course. And if you think that it's like 15 million or 20 million people. Okay, okay. This is sweet. Here we go. All right, I have to, I have to pause here. Um, we got to, I have to take a little pause there. What happens next? It, well, just listen. Did you hear that? The lady who owns the fruit stand would not let us pay. The generosity astounds me. I have experienced it countless times when I've traveled, but especially when I've traveled to Mexico. The sharing and caring mentality of the people. It is only a few pieces of fruit, but it makes you feel welcome, taken care of. And that feeling right there is why you should travel. To experience generosity across cultures, far from home, in a foreign place, is truly special. Okay, back to the market. Pork? Uh, no. This is the belly. The belly of the cow. Oh. All the different types. Yeah. 
literally the belly of the cow, and oh. we prepare a very good dish with the belly of the cow, pancita. Lunch time. Ah, muy bien. Gracias. They are all connected uh, through the surface and underground. Underground, which we walk. Yes, and now we, we walk underground, but now we're in the surface, and you can see that it's, the commerce is still everywhere. Everywhere. Debe estar así suavecita. Suave. Feel it. Sorry. Okay, I'm trying things. What am I trying? Guanabana. Guanabana. Alright. See? Claro. Yes, very sweet. Very sweet. Muy bien, muy rico. Ooh, tart. Yeah. I can see them balancing each other very well. Mame, in the market. That's it. Um, you can find a lot of meat, soft flavor. The, the pink color, it's, I would say, pink or red. It, 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 it's nice. It, it's yeah. delicious. I like it. You try it. Yeah. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. It kind of has the avocado texture, you know? Ah. Like you slice it, it looks like avocado. That, that is the market experience. Yes. That is it, right there. Quintessential, you try something, the vendor's right there, she talks about it, so I appreciate that. Thank you for the language barrier to getting me introduced, trying the native fruits, like, so fun. Um, my favorite, uh, what is that first one? The white one. The white uh, one. Uh, Wanavana. Wanavana. It had a, a, a different type of sweetness. You know, like a milky sweetness. Mm -hmm. the, the structure in here is just like common to you. Like I'm looking up at like the lights here, like the, the walkway. It's just like it is what it is for you. Uh -huh. You look up at the lights and the wires and something just dripped on my neck, you know, like. <laughs> it's just like, ah, oh, it's the market. This is how markets look. Yeah, this is how markets look. You know, this isn't like the code in America. Yes. See what I'm getting at? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. This is... This is how it is here, yeah, yeah. yeah. And most of these places have been open for 50 years, 70 years, right. and probably when it was new, it was all nice right, and shine, right, right, right. but uh, I'm pretty sure that ever since that day, no one has yeah. <laughs> come and clean now. I'm not trying to say the structure is a, is a bad thing, is a terrible thing, you know? Uh -huh. I guess I'm just being observant of it. I, I think that's what almost gives it its, its culture, its feel. It's, uh, character you know yeah, yeah. You, you get the vibe it's the singularity of the place we are right not all the markers are right 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 this is a quesadilla de chicharrón let me show you Ooh. so there's different kinds of chicharrón we're having a quesadilla de chicharrón quesadilla de chicharrón any salsa or you just go for it uh try it by itself and then you can add some salsa Sometimes you find meat, sometimes you find like the little skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, it's very tasty, full of flavor. We basically found a little eatery like in the middle of the market. Nice quality market paper napkins, right? Uh -huh. It's like uh -huh. part of the experience. Uh -huh. Part of the experience. Lunch was good. Lunch was great, yes. yes. Now we're going to navigate our way back through, find the subway station. Uh -huh. And the pink line actually in the market. In the market, La Merced. Right out of La Merced, you take the pink line. All right, new plan, Pino Suarez. Pink line, closed. So we have to walk on foot. Now we're in the through the market. Yeah. Find our way out. Lamar said you treat us well. We are now on the exit. Uh, I read it or in the news somebody tell that Mexico City sinks like 10 centimeters per year. Yes, I read that. So so it's can you imagine in a hundred years you're gonna be a, a meter down? I mean, I look if here on the video, I think you can see that white building, like you see the lean, you know? And yeah. all these are historic buildings. Right. So, some of them, uh, the government is trying to keep them on, on stand. Right. <laughs> Somehow they need to protect because it's our heritage, our yeah. history. Let's continue. Yeah. 
All right, so earlier you were saying it's so crowded because people are coming down here to shop. They're doing their... You would come down here still yes. if you lived here and be like, oh, it's cheaper. Let me pick up these five things. Yes. That's yes. why there's so much store, many stores, so much commerce. That's, yeah, yeah. that's okay. true. And do you want to know something? I have a friend who used to make clothes. Ah, I, I, I think I told you. His family was in the clothes business. Yes. Her grandparents, her parents, and now the third generation. He told me that the things have changed a lot because uh, even they were affected with the, let's call it globalization. Yes. A lot of people is importing things from China. Right. And they got, they beat our prices. So them as like a local Mexican family who sold clothes couldn't anymore because of all yeah. the imports yeah. and now, now he's still on the clothes business, but he imports. Ah, they import. Damn. <laughs> yeah. You cannot fight against them. Right. Uh, join them. Join them. If you can't fight them, join them. Jonathan's behind me in line. No sign, just a line. So we stopped. It's going to be a great, refreshing drink in Central Historic. We got a mango nada. Can you describe how it's made? Yes. Uh, it is like blended, slushy. Mango with a chamoy, which okay. is like a kind of a sour sauce. Okay. And also chili powder, very popular here. It's like a chili piquin okay. uh, with salt and lemon. And then they put it here. Oh, that's good. Refreshing. Tons of flavors. Very refreshing, sweet. You got a little of the uh, spiciness almost from the chamoy. Yes, yeah. We're pushing about 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So this okay. is much okay. needed. Yeah, much needed. And, and you know, Just the streets. As you can see, the streets are quiet. You know, not many people out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say that. It's busy. Very busy. You can't describe the commerce. It just goes on and on. You can't. Like, I'm, I'm getting us bits and pieces of us going in and out, but it's just... You don't even know where you are, right? I, it's like, uh, you lose... Uh, cannot imagine. People, yes. <laughs> and pretty much yeah. everything looks the same, but I know where the, the, you will re where Other the, people notice the differences, and yeah. And then there's cars next to us. I thought I had experienced the city before, and historic before, but downtown before, but I, not like this. Even on video, it's hard to catch all this craziness. It's like uh, any other day in the downtown. I mean, endless. To, Best word endless, to describe yes, it. Endless. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, at some point, you need to go back to the less crowded area. Take a breath. Recoup. Yeah. We just got off Masone Street, right kind of behind us over there. And this is, to me is like what makes Mexico City so unique. Right behind us now is Temple Mayor, like a huge, huge area where there, there was a village. The, the Aztecs were here. Yes. Like, so we're right in the middle of Mexico City. We just come off the commerce and then this just all functions right around Temple Mayor. Like, it's a really cool piece yeah. too that I don't think a lot of other cities have that I've been to how the history is so inter, just intertwined, it's just here. The, the, they built a city on top of the old city. Yes, yes, around the corner to this just epic old architecture. We have the cathedral. It makes sense that they build the cathedral here because they want to impose, I mean the Spains want to impose their new yes. religion. And so on top of the old tem temple, right. they built their temple. If you're here, you got to do this. Ah, you yeah. gotta see this. Sure, sure. This is the you kind of you're in you're in the center. Uh, what what's this tall building behind us? Torre Latino, La Torre Latino Americana. Ah. It was, if I'm not mistaken, the first skyscraper in Latino America. Ah. All Surrounded. these buildings that surround the okay, the, this is the government building, the cathedral or church, yes. but the other buildings. Today are uh, government offices, but used to be merchant uh, commerce. Ah. Used to be there, yeah. Okay. Sometimes tourists say, oh, I want to stay away from the tourist area. This might be yeah. a touristy area, but <laughs> yeah, still, there's a lot of history, a lot of things to see. The main Zocalo. <laughs> Very popular song. Uh, in the sea, everything is happiness. Ah, okay. 
near in the, the sea. sea. In the sea, in the water. Ah, yeah. oh, that's my near happy the place. Sea, like in the beach. Or... Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yes, I agree. And, okay, so the house of Azulejos is famous because of the facade, not really what's inside. The facade is the it's... most iconic thing, but inside there's some murals. Oh. Yes, uh, remember I told you there, there, the muralism was important in Mexico art story. Yeah. Three main ones, the Rivera, Siqueiros, Orozco. I don't know who painted the ones that are inside, but one of those painted the murals that are inside. And it's well worth it to walk inside, take a look, um, like any other big house uh, 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 in that time it has a patio inside and you will see there's a restaurant with little tables you can have a coffee nice. it's nice Let's yeah. go take a look yes yeah. I was here over a year ago with my family but I didn't have a Jonathan I didn't have a local to guide me around my, my advice would be I I filmed this spot didn't know what it was called I read about the outside it looked cool but I didn't go in so be more exploratory in the downtown area of asking questions, going inside buildings. I think that's the beautiful piece of this Mexican culture. You know, go into a place that looks like it's been around for a long time and uh, it might surprise you. Sunlight tardes. Ah. When the sun is gone, it's noches. Buenas tardes, my friends. <laughs> Good. Jonathan, we have a feast. Yes, we have a feast. We've been walking all day in Centro Historic and we ended up at the Cardinal, but in, in Espanol. El Cardenal. El Cardenal. It's been around for a very long time. Yes. What do we What do we have? A little bit of seafood, uh, tacos de camarón, uh, carnitas, which is a very traditional dish, pork, and uh, some seafood, but cold. This is aguachile. Aguachile. Aguachile and some tostadas. So. Man, what a treat! Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Of course. Amazing. You're welcome. I'm I'm really glad that you. Enjoy the day. Uh, it has been a tire, a long journey, yes. but well, this is the way we're gonna treat ourselves. Overall, Centro Historic District, I think, provides so much as a tourist. But mm -hmm. as we discussed a little bit, it, it has this dynamic of the old history and the old ruins, along with like real, true like Mexican culture. You're like in the thick of it. It gives you a, a feel for the culture in such a different way than Roma Norte or or the La Cunesa. Yes, it feels you know different. I, mean? I, I I tried to show you a little bit of everything. It was a great perspective. It was a great stroll through the park. Yes. Alameda. 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 Just to uh, digest. To digest the food. It was. Uh, I'm lucky enough for this to be my second time in Mexico City. On my last visit, I drove here from the United States with my family. We experienced the amazing side of Mexico, like here, when we were invited to a wedding. We have also experienced the dark side, when the police pulls us over and would not let us go until we paid them. Both moments put us on emotional rides for different reasons. The risk with travel is always there, but the experience, connection, and ultimately change that can occur during travel is a privileged gift that I will never take for granted. In the US, Mexico is our neighbor, and while Cancun and Puerto Vallarta are special places, so are the small markets, the woods, the hidden treasures, and the massive city that CDMX has become. When you visit Mexico City, try the food, experience the history, and most importantly, go outside of your comfort zone to engage, talk, and befriend the beautiful people.